this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing something a little bit different today, guys. I thought about doing this series of story times with you guys because I really want to share a little bit about my personal life with you because I'm always just talking about fashion and sharing hauls and stuff, but I really do want you to get to know me as a person. So I thought I would do some story times to kind of help you get to know me a little bit better. And I also wanted to um, really show how God is involved in our lives and how he talks to us on a daily basis. So my story times are really going to be geared around God's involvement and hands in our lives and how he works in our lives. Because sometimes I think we miss God speaking to us and we feel like God isn't speaking to us or there with us. Sometimes we might feel discouraged. We might feel alone and like he's not there, but he's always there. He never leaves us. He's an constant encourager and comforter. And I hope that by sharing my stories with you, it'll get you to think, well, wow, that might have been God at that time. Maybe that wasn't a coincidence. Maybe that was God speaking to me. So this story time has to do a little bit with my art. Now over the years I've had some insecurities when it comes to my art because I am a self-taught artist. Now I've been doing art since I was a little kid. The seed was planted in me by God and nurtured and watered by my mom and teachers and other people over the years. So I've always loved it and loved, you know, reading books, going to the museums, you name it. So anyway, to make a long story short, my degree is not, I don't have any degrees in art. My degrees are in business administration and curriculum and instruction. So now I'm in this profession where I'm surrounded by art teachers who have art degrees, fine art degrees specific areas of degrees in art and I have been the only one that I know in the counties that I taught who was self-taught. Well, I take that back. There was one other gentleman that I met who was self-taught as well. So out of that profession, that's a small percentage of us who do not have actual, you know, degrees in fine art. Well, for me, that was a bit intimidating and somewhat unnerving and it planted insecurities in me because here I am amongst all these other people who have studied this for years and have degrees specifically in it. And so I had to kind of deal with that mentally uh, as I've been doing my job. Now God's been working with me on that. So that's my little background that's leading up to the story that I'm going to share with you. So um, over the years I've shown my art, you know, in galleries, um, in different places and I've sold my art, you know, prior to getting into the teacher profession. But there was a point in my life where I was like, you know what? I just want to go through this period where I just give my art away. I don't want to sell it because I had gotten so discouraged um, and I didn't want to deal with the rejection of putting a piece up for sale and then people not liking it. So I was like, well, if I give it away, then, you know, I won't have to deal with those emotions. It's funny how our mind works, you know, to deal with things. But anyway, that was one way I used to deal with it. I was like, I'll just give my art away and I did that a lot. But it was for the wrong reason. So the giving was not with the right motive and intent behind it. Um, then I got into the teaching profession, and that's a whole different story. You don't, you know, deal with. It's not just about you. It's about someone else, which was great for me because uh, it got my mind off of me and my art, and you know, me feeling exposed. So uh, about three years ago. I decided to give away uh, a lot of paintings that I had done over the years that had been in shows. So I had invested in framing, things like that. About 12 or 13 pieces I picked out and I said, I'm gonna give these to Goodwill. Now this time when I was giving, it wasn't because I was necessarily discouraged, um, but I felt like it's not blessing anyone being in my house just sitting here. Uh, and so I said, I'm going to give them away and hopefully it will find a good home. I remember saying, God, I hope these pieces bless someone and that, you know, someone will enjoy these pieces. And so I gave them away to a local Goodwill and didn't think anything about it. 
So about three weeks after giving them away, I was out and about and I was at Second and Charles here uh, in Augusta, which is a consignment bookstore that does buy, say, selling and trading on books and videos and things like that. So I was there and I had just submitted a bunch of stuff and I was waiting for my order to be processed. And when you go, you give them the books, they sort through it, you have to sign your name on this form and then they will call you or text you when your things have been processed and you, uh, you can come back. So I decided to go in the little waiting area that they have rather than look around. I just took a seat and this guy approached me. He was about six, five or so, really tall, Caucasian guy in his mid-twenties. And he said, excuse me, he said, I know this is going to sound strange, but I noticed I was behind you in line and I just happened to notice that when you signed your name, you signed it Audrey Crosby. And he says, and I bought a painting about a week ago at the Goodwill and this painting was also signed Audrey Crosby. And I was just curious, you wouldn't happen to be an artist, would you? And I was like, well, yes, I am an artist. As a matter of fact, I'm an art teacher, but I also, you know, do art and paintings on the side. And he was like, um, he described the painting to me. And I was like, yeah, that's one of my pieces. I said, it's called Town and Country. And I told him what the inspiration you know of the piece was about and we kind of started chit chatting he talk, told me a little bit about himself and he says well I just want you to know it's hanging up in my bedroom and every day when I wake up that's the first thing I see and I really love that painting so it was just so awesome and we took a selfie together and we just exchanged pleasantries and then he went about his way but I remember thinking what are the chances this is the most serendipitous thing that has ever happened to me in my life I mean I could see how God's hand was on that like how he divinely orchestrated that two complete strangers would meet up on a specific day at a specific time so that each person could exchange this dialogue that would be an encouragement for one and just this cool thing for the other one. I mean, I was like, that was only God. I, Cause I had sit, prayed and said, God, I hope that my paintings are purchased by someone who will appreciate them and really like them. And God gave me assurance that it was so and he encouraged me that this is a gift that I've given you and it does touch lives so continue to do it it was like he himself was speaking to me through that interaction so I hope you do not miss God speaking to you because you might be distracted by your emotions and what you're feeling, you know, discouragement, or maybe you're caught up in the circumstances that are not so favorable. Don't miss God because he is always there. He's a constant friend. He's a constant encourager. He loves us so much that he would take the time to, you know, like I say, orchestrate something down to the most minute detail so that it will glorify him and, you know, bless you in the process. And so he's there. Don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. God is with you. He is there. I promise you don't write off the coincidental things and say, oh, that's coincidental because they're not. Everything's divinely ordered. God is sovereign. He's in control and he's there with you. So there will be more stories that I have to share with you about our awesome God and how he is working in our lives in the hopes that you can kind of see some parallels in your life and you can also give him praise and glory. I'd love to hear in the comments below some stories about how you knew it was God speaking to you or dealing with you or talking to you uh, at a specific time in your life. I love hearing your stories. So I will see you next time and remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he truly loves us so much and I will see you next time. Bye bye.